Episode Story Number 9, Niffle and the Chest of Nightmares As the clock strikes midnight, the world is once again blanketed in the stillness of sleep. Through a shimmering portal, Mered steps into a cosy bedroom, his thick black goggles gleaming in the dreams he has just manifested tenfold. He adjusts his little black top hat and twirls his handlebar moustache with a twinkly grin after being greeted with Niffle, the dream keeper. We need your help. There's a dark entity, Shadow, wanting to feed on nightmares. And we need to save them from the dreamers. Oh dear, this happened once before. The nightmares undealt with can of course grow in anger. I'll come to your cavern, dear Niffle. Here, take this twig. Niffle looks confused upon the request he's just asked. Mead then hands Niffle a simple twig, which he then sprinkles some gold dust over it. I will wait to hear from you. When the time is right, Snap this twig and I will appear. Oh, thank you. I'll see you soon at my cavern, Mad. I'll see you very soon. Niffle teleports back to the cavern. There, he waits patiently for the shadow entity to return. It's either now or never. We need to protect the dreams. Mad, don't let us down. A few hours go by, followed by a familiar chill that fills the cavern and the lights of the dream bottles flicker and shake once again. Niffle's ears twitch in alarm as a dark entity begins to materialize from the shadows behind him. Dream Keeper, I have returned. Niffle's heart pounds as he stands his ground, clutching the twig in his hands. You can't have the nightmares, they must stay locked away. Take me to them, little one. Let me feed on their energy. Niffle takes a big deep breath, his eyes filled with determination and also uncertainty. He instantly closes his eyes and snaps a twig, which dissolves into gold dust. No, I won't do it. Not as a dangerous. I must protect the dreamers. Then you will meet your end, Nightmare Stealer. Just then a swirling portal opens up in the cavern, from above the shadow entity. It's Mird, the Dreamweaver. He steps through a portal holding onto the ceiling with his cane, and in the other hand, a pouch of gold dust in the other. Looks like I arrived just in time. Niffle's eyes widen with relief and hope. Mad, you've arrived! Aye, and I've brought a whole lot of astral dust. Let's show this dark entity what dream alchemy can do. Niffle's eyes sparkle with excitement and determination as he steps back, letting Mead take the lead. Mid opens his pouch as he hangs and empties the bag of gold dust, which falls all over the entity. Yeah, what is this? Nightmare dust. Mid says, winking at Niffle, and with a swift motion, the astral dust settling all over the dark entity as it blankets him. Then Mir jumps from the ceiling and lands on the floor, Hop. and taps the astral dust with his cane. The dust ignites into a burst of golden light enveloping the entity. This, my friend, is the power of transformation. May this light burn, vanish all darkness, and transform all shadows into light, love, and radiance. Give now this light thriving hope to lighten all the darkest spaces. Oh, what is happening? The dark entity withers and twists as the astral dust transforms the shadow entity to reveal a radiant positive energy that is swirling inside the shadow entity. You see, darkness, even nightmares, can be turned into something good. Niffle watches in awe as the dark entity's form shifts, its menacing presence dissolving into a calm, serene light. He turns to Mird, a spark of idea in his eyes. Mird, can we use a gold dust on the nightmares in the trunk too? Aye, we can! Let's transform them into something that can help the dreamers. Niffle teleports to the trunk brings it back to the cavern, unlocks it, opens it, and reveals the dark bottles containing the nightmares. Mered carefully sprinkles more gold dust all over each bottle, then taps them with his cane, popping all the corks. The bottles glow brightly, and the nightmares inside escape as they meld with the astral dust, and then transform into a shimmering elixir that bubbles away at the nightmare's energy. Oh. This elixir will help dreamers have better dreams. Oh, thank you, Mud. I'm glad to help, Niffle. Together we've made the dream world a better place. 
Just then, the serene light that was once the dark entity begins to expand. Mead hands Niffle another pair of goggles. You may want to put these on, my friend, or your eyes will be burnt to coal. The once dark entity begins to expand and pull in all the dream bottle's energy, including the nightmares. Oh, what's going on, Mead? We need to protect the dreams. Just you watch and see. Niffle and Mead's goggles shine bright for a thousand suns as the shadow entity grows increasingly bigger, absorbing a tiny spark of all the dreams within the cavern. And a final sprinkle of astral dust here, and just a little tap, and... Whatever happens next, let's journey to episode story number 10.